Oh my god, everyone has such good school supplies, and then there's me with the boring notebooks that's $1 at Walmart and Target. I don't know what to do. Wait, I could just DIY my school supplies. Let's go. to another Manny Makeup XO video and today we are doing another video in my hashtag BTSMMXO. If you don't know what that is, um, last year I just started it. It's where I do back to school videos and then it's MMXO because it's Manny Makeup XO. Haha, <laughs> get it? Okay. So for this video we are going to be doing a DIY school supplies video and if you watch my last video, um, last year it was very terrible it was last minute and it was horrible but this one I planned and it looks pretty good I think it looks pretty good so yeah um don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and let's get into the video wow, this DIY is very confusing First thing we're going to be making is a pencil case that's out of a shirt. Yes, out of a shirt. So I took this Philly shirt and all you need is fabric glue, old shirt, fabric scissors, and a Ziploc bag. And I used the ones that you have to like snap for the Ziploc bag, but I probably would have used the ones that you pull, I guess. But first you're going to do is fold the end of your shirt and mark on how big you want your, um, a uh, pencil case to be and then I'm just cutting it and make sure it's the width of the Ziploc bag but I'm just cutting it and really you're just going to be folding it so make sure when you fold it you have enough room and then I'm just cut cutting the edges and yeah. So next you're just going to be folding it in half and make sure it's inside out when you glue it. So you glue it where it's like the front where you'll be seeing it and then uh, on the back is like where it's going to be inside out. I know this sounds weird but it looks really good. And then you're just going to fold it and uh, follow the directions on the fabric glue on how long it should stay. And then you are going to be measuring how long you want your Ziploc bag to be. I recommend being the plastic part really big so then you can glue that part onto your um, your fabric because if you don't then it won't it, it won't be able to be on there I guess that's what I'm trying to say and make sure the also the bag is inside out. It's gonna be a little bit difficult but trust me you'll be able to do it. And you're just going to glue that on and then once you are done and it's dried you're just going to turn it uh back to its original place and you can also use like pattern fabric or whatever you prefer i'm just doing it out of the shirt because you know i'm too lazy to go to the fabric store and buy fabric and you know when i can just make it for free out of a shirt and a ziploc bag And make sure the glue has dried and that's it you can just put all your supplies in i recommend not putting in like open markers or pens like you can put pens in there but just make sure they're closed so then they don't get all over the back now this pencil case is a duct tape pencil case and this is if you don't feel like ripping up your shirt you can just use duct tape and a ziploc bag all you're gonna do is put as much duct tape around it, and I know I made the owls upside down, but upside down owls are the style now, duh, get it right, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I just did three rows of duct tape, and then I cut at the end, and I did both sides. You're only gonna see when I do the front side, and then yes, I turned my um, owls the right way when I went in the back, so it's okay, the owls are okay. 
but so I'm just doing that and then you're just gonna cut it in the middle to make sure it's like your length that you want and then you're just gonna put duct tape on the bottom and duct tape it together and you are done and it's really simple and I kind of like this one better than the other one but whatever your preference is I just made these two because it's like two different kinds and some people like to be more crafty some people like to be more cute you know whatever you like And then you're done. And don't ask me why I put my spoon and scissors into one compartment together. Don't. Just don't ask. I was so stupid. <laughs> Next we're going to be making this washi tape notebook. And it also has a whiteboard on the front. What you're going to need is a notebook, washi tape, and whiteboard tape. That's optional. So you're just going to put the washi tape like diagonal. You can put it sideways, horizontally, like horizontally, vertically, diagonally, whatever you prefer. I did diagonally and yes, they are see-through, but it just looks really cool, I think. And like these colors go so good together and just different patterns. It just makes it look so much cooler and it really like, I really just want to take notes in it. Like right now, even before school starts, just start taking notes like in that book. Next, I took a piece of my uh, whiteboard tape, which I got from Target. It comes in a roll. I cut it, and then you can put it on there. And I just put it on the front. You can have a label, but I didn't put a label on. And you know, just in case you're bored in class and you just need to draw for a second, or if you have free time after a test, you know, just start drawing. <laughs> And I know my handwriting is terrible. I was rushing because we had to like leave from the school real quick. So yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Next is this chalkboard notebook. And what you're gonna need is a notebook, chalkboard paint, and washi tape. And also a paper protector. Like one of those like ones you put in your binder. And so you're just gonna follow directions of the paint and of the chalkboard paint. Mine said you have to do one layer vertically, one layer horizontally. And then once I was done, I put washi tape, once it all dried, I put washi tape on the sides and it looked really cool. I think the gold went so good with the black. Now I'm taking one of those paper protectors that you put in binders and this is a smaller one and I glued it to the back of the notebook and just in case you get like little notes saying I like someone like you'll see in a few minutes I get that note from myself. Yeah, I'm a little note for life. I'm just kidding. But yeah, you can just put anything in there. I put my phone in there also and it's just really nice to have to put like you know if you have extra papers that you just want to put in there there's also bigger ones that bigger kind of paper protectors that you can have but that's it for this notebook Next is this pink book that I made. And actually I got this idea from my sister's friend. So shout out to her, Jessie. 
And what you're going to need is just a notebook. I recommend composition book because it's a lot smaller. And paint. I took like 50 colors and put them on to the um, tin foil. And make sure you do this outside because it does get very, very messy. But it's a lot of fun. Just put it in your hands and start splattering it everywhere. And this is a great activity to do in the summer if you're bored. And it also turns out really cool. Now look at this. And when it dried, it was, oh my gosh, I just want to make more. My last notebook is this quote notebook. And I took a bunch of quotes when I searched Tumblr quotes. Now you're going to use quotes and a composition book. And this composition book I was going to use for something else, but then I took it off. But, um... You can just like, really, it doesn't have to be quotes, it can be like pictures of people, but I thought that the quotes would just help me like during the day if I was ever at school and just, you know, thinking and I just, I put a piece of white paper down because I thought it would make it more prettier and I know I'm bad at my cutting skills if you can see, but it turns out really pretty and I really, 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 really love this one. This is probably my favorite notebook. Now time for room decor. This one is a to-do whiteboard. So what you're gonna need is a frame and pattern paper. So frames, because of its glass, is technically a whiteboard. So you can just put any pattern paper you want on the back and that's it. I had to cut mine a little bit just to get this in there and fit it. And it's really helpful because you wanna have something noticed and I was just cutting it and you can make it a more prettier, maybe put gems on the, um, all around the border of the frame. And it just looks really cool and it's really fun to write on it, especially if your friends come over and you just, they write on it, it's fun. So the last thing is a picture string and what you're going to need is some pictures or if you have a to-do list thing you can put that on there and also something to hold the things on there like I use paper clips you can use um, close, close pin, pit, blah, 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 close pins and what you're going to do is just hang up the string which I did I just hang, hung it above my bed like I have been for the rest of the DIYs. And then lastly, all you're going to be doing is hanging up your pictures or if you have like a to-do list, you can hang them on there if you don't want the frame. And it's just really simple and easy and I love having pictures of my friends up. It looks really cool and I love the photo booth pictures. That's my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button because the subscribe button is free, don't forget. Alright, bye!